Hello everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today, we are going to be going over my hardy hammer and my revisited design with the tool holder that I've come up with. Thanks for watching. Okay everyone, here we are at my work table. Um, thanks for all the new people who are joining us uh, that are just viewing this hardy hammer. You may want to check out some of my other videos. I'll put them in a note ca card up at the top of the screen uh, in that little icon that shows a little information button at the top of the screen. Uh, and I will also put links to them in the description. Uh, the other videos that I have done on the series of this hardy hammer. Uh, this particular video I'm just going to, uh, I'm, I kind of revisited my design a little bit uh, on the hardy hammer um, with some good ideals from uh, a, a fellow smith that had uh, gave some suggestion that he would like to see a small tool holder um, made for the hardy hammer to hold bottom tool, you know, bottom tooling and things of that nature. So that's what I'm going on today. Um, there's all sorts of different variations of bottom tools that you can make for this hammer. Um, and then using this die setup, as you can see, they're pretty simple. These are two inch wide by three quarter inch thick dies. Um, and uh, obviously shaped any shape that you want. This one over here, all these designs here will actually be included in the PDFs uh, if you decide that you want to purchase these plans. These will all be included in the revised uh, or the revisited design, if you will, uh, these different you know radiuses and stuff that I used here um, uh, just to help you guys out. Uh, but starting from the left going to the right, uh, this one here is for pipe. This is a sweat, a pipe swedging tool. Make sure I'm still in shot. Yep. This one's a pipe, pipe swedging tool. You essentially, you can put pipe in there um, and rotate it around. I'll find a pipe here so I can illustrate that. Or maybe not. I don't have one close by. Never mind. Um, it's essentially, you just put a pipe in it and it condenses it on three sides of the material, which makes it really handy to take and forge down pipe. Um, this is obviously just a fuller. This is what I would consider about a half inch radius on the top of this uh, for, a, for a fuller to draw out stock more, well, more expediently or quicker. Um, and, you know, you can do things like this railroad spike meat turner that uh, I did in another video. You can use the fuller to fool or something like that out. Um, this here is what I like to call, this is kind of like a guillotine tool or a butcher tool. This can help segregate stock. Um, in, a, in another video I used a similar tool on a top tooling to take and segregate um, some material to make a pair of tongs. Um, so these can be a handy shape, just a simple uh, 50 degree pitch angle on that and then last but not least and the one that we're going to be using today I'm going to go ahead and make one half or one jaw of a tong as the example of what the hardy hammer can do but this is just a simple tong um, jig this here is three-eighths of an inch thick and it keeps all your measurements the same um, uh, so we'll go over the hardy hammer I'll show you the quick die change setup real quick and then we'll get started so uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, thank you for everyone who has been supporting the channel, buying these plans. Uh, I, me and my family greatly appreciate it. And uh, thank you to all my loyal subscribers out there. Uh, I appreciate your comments uh, daily. I really do. Um, you know, it, uh, it gives me a purpose in what I'm doing here. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, and uh, we'll have to do something about that in the future. Maybe a giveaway or something. But anyways, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, we'll get to it. Okay, Doc, real quick before I make one half of these uh, tong jaws on the tong die itself, or jig, um, i just show you how quick this is. Um, this is all part of the design. There's a bit of a spacer plate here that lifts everything, and then these on the revised design or revisited design, these side pieces or cheeks will go down a little longer than in the original design. And also there will be a, a much longer attachment bolt um, for that.
but that essentially everything else will be made the same for you guys that are already building these hammers. Um, everything will be the same. Uh, just the new design will have um, the spacer plate included and the whole die holder and a, a, some variations for the actual hammer itself to make it perform. Um, so to change the dies, I created just a thumb screw. It holds tension. You take out your die and you set in your die that you want to take and put in with the ram up. So you put that down. You see it's jiggling around. Tighten the thumb screw and now it's not going anywhere. Um, the way this is designed, this comes up high enough on, on this piece that it doesn't allow it to wibble wobble or jump up out of the hole um, so really just a simple thumb pressure screw is enough to take and hold the die in place um, for any of your hammering needs so we'll go and uh, i'll get a um, a shot on this we'll go ahead and heat up some material uh, the material that i'm using today is three quarter inch by half inch um, uh, rectangular stock mild steel for uh, making my tong jaws here. Uh, in the video, you'll notice. Well, man, he made those. He made the jaws a little short. This is how I make my uh, tongs that I need to grab plate or heavy plate of any sort with. I make the jaws real, real short and stubby, so it gets more clamping pressure. So that's why they're shorter on here. You can draw out the jaws as long as you like. This is just simply what I'm doing for today. So without further ado, I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you for watching today, and God bless you all. Um, we'll get to making one half of these tongs. Enjoy the video.